Hi there, you've joined us on Starting Up. Now, he's the pioneer of the mobile banking industry, the former CEO of mobile banking company MCheck, and now the founder of technology incubator Angel Prime. I'm talking about Sanjay Swami, our very own Sudhir Sial, caught up with Swami in Bangalore. Sanjay Swami, serial entrepreneur, a founder and pioneer leading the mobile technology revolution and a number of other revolutions. It's an honor to have you on the show. Welcome to Starting Up. Thank you. Uh, Sanjay, you refer to yourself more as a parallel entrepreneur as opposed to serial entrepreneur. Why don't you define that, uh, that uh, noun for us? Yeah. It's a new moniker for sure. me. Um, you know, I have done a number of startups uh, over the years and I'm now in the mode where I'm incubating companies as well as mentoring uh, several startups at the same time, hence sure. the term parallel entrepreneur. You worked in a technology companies in the US and then your first twist with entrepreneurship uh, or leading a company was really with MCheck when you came Correct. back to India, right? So I moved back to India or I moved back to India largely because I saw what was happening with cell phones and if you called an auto driver and asked him what the time was, he would pick up his cell phone and say, you know, it's 3.30 or whatever, right? <laughs> so, you know, I could see people were, you know, starting to rely more and more on the cell phone and it also struck me that that could be used securely to make payments. Right, right. Take us to the MCheck hypothesis, Sanjay. What, what were you really setting out to do and how did the journey unfold? So, the, the hypothesis was essentially that, you know, everybody is going to have a cell phone. Sure. And just as you can send or receive a text message, sure. you should be able to send or receive a payment. Sure. Right. That was the, the basic hypothesis. Right. The complexity of whether this is done through the banking system, whether it's done through a credit card system, whether it's done through a, any other mechanism, was meant to be you know, completely transparent to the, the two parties involved in the transaction, which is the consumer and the, the payer and the payee, sure. whether it's the consumer and a merchant or two individuals. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that was the real hypothesis. That, yeah. And it should work on every single phone and it should work safely and securely right. for everyone. So that was the hypothesis and that's what we set out to do. You, you signed a, a big deal with Airtel, it sort of became in many ways one of the first few startups to actually have uh, pan-India reach, right? Because it at one point was going on to all Airtel SIM cards and so on and so forth. And the scale-up happened, but at some level the scale-up wasn't as quickly as what we all anticipated, at least the whole mobile right. payments domain didn't scale. What do you think were some of the incumbent challenges uh, with the mobile payment space? I think, you know, there's a lot of excitement, sure. right? But as with anything in payments, you have to tread very carefully sure. because you're dealing with people's money, right? right? So uh, the way things are structured in India right. is you have to work, you know, payments is essentially under the banking system, sure. right? Having said that, in the mobile phone, you know, communication is under the telecom system, right? right? So uh, the idea here was to try to bring both party, both ecosystems together and, and build an ecosystem around uh, the telecom networks from a distribution and communications perspective and the banking system from the financial uh, transaction perspective. Right, right. Right. So uh, essentially, you know, trying to get all these parties to sort of work in harmony in the same time frames was really uh, quite a challenge. Uh, to their credit, you know, Reserve Bank, you know, realized the importance of this, came out with regulations around it. Uh, I think the challenge has always been in that industry of trying to synchronize sort of the efforts uh, across the industry because there are three ecosystems here. There are telcos, there are banks, there are merchants and you need all three in, you know, to work in... in, in More than anything, you need users to buy into the whole thing. Before the user can even be approached. <laughs> sure, right? sure. And that's, sure. The, that's the challenge. And how do you see this whole mobile payment system evolving? Oh, I, I have no doubt that a day will come where, you know, uh, we will all just be paying, sending money around using our cell phones. It's right. an it's a absolute thing that will happen. Sure. Right. Uh, the pace at which it happens will probably, you know, it, it's been five years already that, you know, uh, myself and several others in this industry have been trying to make it happen. So, we've always been hearing that next year is the year of mobile payments and right. hopefully it will truly happen next year. So, somewhere along that line, uh, Sanjay, you moved on from, mm -hmm. um, from MCheck and you decided to really become a parallel entrepreneur and right. made uh, two exciting ventures, they own ZipDial separately and then Angel Prime which is incubating other startup ideas, right? Firstly, I wanted to focus on ZipDial because it's a uh, raised funding from the Mumbai Angels, a very spoken about company, it's a hot company right now in the ecosystem. Take us through how ZipDial really began. Uh, you know, after I left MCheck, you know, I reached out to another partner of mine who had worked with me in the past, Amiya Pathak, who's our third co-founder. And then the three of us met one evening and said, this looks really interesting, I think we can bring it to market. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. and, and that was sort of the idea here. We, sure. Yes, we all know that if it becomes very big, it can be very successful, can 
but we did it because we thought it was going to be a fun experience and we yeah. said let's enjoy ourselves doing this right right and uh, you know not worry about the uh, right, right. you know the well, it's a fun the, technology uh, more anything else. it's fun right right so take us through how zipdial really works uh, how much can actually be done on a miss call <laughs> You'll be surprised. Right. You know, we, we, were, we have been more pleasantly surprised every time we presented the company. Sure. So the idea is very simple. Right. Um, let's say you're looking to get your bank balance today. Right. You know, you would SMS uh, balance to some number, right. and the bank would then send your SMS, uh, your balance back by uh, a text message. And so typically, you have a, a, a number and different keywords right. that you need to compose for balance, for mini statement, and so on. In the case of zip dial, you would have different numbers for each of those services, and all you do is dial the number, right, right. and the server, once it receives the call, right. disconnects the call, mm -hmm. and takes the action associated, which is sending you either your balance or a mini statement. The hypothesis is that dialing a number is far simpler as compared to sending out an SMS. Absolutely. And it works across all phones, all operators, no GPRS requirements. Nothing. Right. Sanjay, I want to move now to Angel Prime, right? And it's a very unique incubator format. Take us through the origins of Angel Prime. How do you conceive it and how does it really work? So Angel Prime is something I've started with a couple of my partners, sure. Bala and Shripati, who were founders of Snapfish. Right. All three of us worked together and had the good fortune of working together with Mr. Neelakani on the UID project as volunteers. Right. And uh, we recognized that, you know, uh, just like in the case of ZipDial, you know, we have great entrepreneurs who are you know, entirely capable of building the company and taking it forward. Right. And the role we had to play in the early days was really around, uh, was really more significant than over a period of time. Sure. And as true entrepreneurs who have seen multiple exciting things happen and, and are seeing so much of innovation happening in India or the opportunity for innovation, we looked at it and said, you know, we really don't want to be doing one thing. We would rather work during the innovative phases of the company and help entrepreneurs both from a financing perspective as well as from a market sizing and guidance uh, and our initial operations perspective and help them build the team right. and take them through all the way to venture capital investment. Right. And at that point, our involvement probably will be a lot less because there will be professional investors. So, Angel Prime has also has uh, two incubates, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you're going to... or incubates, yeah. we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> incubators, fair enough, right? Take us to, to two companies. What's exciting? What's going on there? Yeah, so uh, two areas that we are, uh, you know, amongst, uh, that we are entrepreneurs in are payments and uh, e-commerce. Right, right. Both are, you know, very important and, you know, relatively uh, right. related areas. Sure, sure. We are only looking at things that are transformational. Sure. Right? And it's not just transformational from a disruptive, uh, doing disruption in the business model, but we also think they can have tremendous impact. Sure. Right? To uh, the merchant ecosystem, to the consumer payments ecosystem in one case, and in the other case to, you know, how you shop. Finally, Sanjay, one closing note uh, from someone who's been there, done that, uh, scaled multiple companies and who's now mentoring multiple companies. One piece of advice to all the entrepreneurs watching the show, Sanjay. You know, don't give up. You know, no matter what people tell you, there is a bigger, there's a big opportunity. The only regret one can have in life is not trying. Sanjay, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In fact, Sanjay is looking to add more startups to his incubator Angel Prime. So in case any of you are interested, well, go on and write into him. We'll take a break here on the show, but coming up. Your mobile strategy from conception to implementation on this week's Bootstrap.